Hey, what's up? How you doing? Welcome back to Carball Gaming and another Cyberpunk 2077 video. Well, we finally got the big update, ladies and gentlemen. The one of a few that is coming in the following weeks. The first one is update 1.1. That's what we have today, ladies and gentlemen. These are the patch notes. Now, as always, I'll be leaving a link down below if you want to check out these lovely patch notes yourself. But for right now, ladies and gentlemen, let's get started. Now, the update patch 1.1 is waning roughly around 16 gigabytes. And it is live on the PC, console, and on Stadia. Now, in this update, they are focusing on various stability improvements, which you can find outlined in the patch notes below. They will continue to work on 1.2, like I said previously, and uh, yeah, I'll get right into it. First up, ladies and gentlemen, we have stability. Various stability improvements, including memory usage improvements in various systems within the game. Characters, interaction, navigation, in-game videos, news, TV, etc. Foliage, lasers, effects, minimap devices, AI, street traffic, environment, damage system, GPU related, and more. Various crash fixes related to, among other things, loading saves, games opening, closing, and point of no return. Next up, we have quest and open worlds. First off, they fixed the issue where calls for Delamain would end immediately and seems like they cannot be picked up in Introsophy. Fixed the issue where players would not receive calls from Delamain when approaching relevant vehicles in Introsophy. Fixed the issue where the objective could get stuck on answer the call from Mr. Hands and Mama Tan Pele. Fix the issue where Judy could teleport underground in Pyramid Zone. Fix the issue where it would be impossible to talk to Zen Master and Poem of the Atoms. Fix the issue where Takamura wouldn't call in and down on the street. Fix the issue where Jackie could disappear in the pickup and fix the issue where it could be impossible to get out of the car in Beast and Me in the Big Race. Fix the issue where players could stop receiving calls and messages after moving too far away from a day in life area. Fix the issue where opening the package would update Space Oddity. Retrofix the saves affected by a rare issue where speaking to Judy in Automatic Love would be impossible due to Invisible Wall. The underlying issues is under investigation. Fix the issue that prevented players from collecting the rewards in Gig, Freedom of the Press. The quest will auto-complete for those who could not collect the rewards previously and the reward will be previously automatically provided automatically, excuse me. Fix the issue where Delmain would remain silent through entropy if the players initially refused to help him. UI, fix the issue where the prompt from exiting Brain Dance could be missing and remove the invalid item from loot. Under visual, fix the issue where a grenade trajectory could be displayed in photo mode. Fix projectiles, hue, appearance in pink when viewed close up. Fix cars spraying incorrectly in reported crime. Welcome to Night City. Under achievement, fix the issue where completing one of three assaults in progress in Santo Domingo would sometimes not contribute towards progressing for the jungle achievement preventing its completion. Under miscellaneous, address the issue responsible for saves getting oversized related to the mod fighter, indicating if the item is crafted and trim the excess size from already existing save. Note, this won't fix PC save from corrupting before 1.06 update. Fix the issue where input could stop registering upon opening the weapon wheel and performing an action. Fix the issue where the continue button in the main menu could not load an in-game save. Now for PlayStation specific, performance optimization of crowds on PlayStation 4 Pro and PlayStation 5, and various crash fixes on PlayStation 4. Xbox specific, improved memory use of first character creation, mirror scanning, controls, remote controls, menus, cameras, menu inventory map on Xbox One, Xbox One X, and Xbox One S. PC specific, it will now be possible to obtain achievements while in Steam offline mode. Note, offline mode needs to be enabled before starting the game. This does not work retroactively. Also address the game startup crashes related to loading caches on NVIDIA graphics card and Stadia Pacific. Concert audio should no longer be inaudible and never fade away. Fix corrupt detectors on several melee weapons. Tweak default dead zone settings to be more responsive and note the change will not affect settings unless they are set to default so there you have it ladies and gentlemen the new update is here i don't see anything about fixing the dupe but hey we'll have to see look for that video a little bit later once i finish downloading the update but for right now that's pretty much going for the video hope you truly enjoy it once again if you are new to this channel hey how you doing 
welcome. Don't forget to subscribe. Right here on Carpool Gaming, I upload a wide variety of videos, ranging for updates, tips, tricks, glitches, like new update, and a whole lot more. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thank you for all your love and support. And as always, I'll be seeing y'all in the next one. Later. Thank you.